Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company. We will now have a uh, look at files, machinist files for uh, filing metal and, uh, and aluminum. Uh, we have a, a series of different styles, mill, mill bastards, uh, the rat tail, uh, one of my favorites, a, a chainsaw, it's a straight diameter of the chainsaw file, and the half rat. Uh, so it's a curved on one side, flat, and uh, so a different variety is, is nice to have. Uh, we do want to have a look at the files and see how they work. There are teeth that cut in one direction. So much like a hacksaw, we are applying pressure in the forward direction. We are not dragging back across the metal. This one, if we can catch the light just right, straight down the middle we can feel it dull. Someone has been dragging this back back downward, right in the middle there, and has been dulling, dulling that, uh, that side there. So inappropriate use of, uh, of that file. This side still looks, uh, still looks acceptable. So as an example, uh, in a previous video, we have cut and trimmed a, uh, a, uh, a fork column, very sharp edge from the, uh, the hacksaw blade. So here we're holding and pushing forward. You can also rotate the fork and Give this a nice, nice bevel right on the end here. So eliminating that sharp edge, allowing our compression cone and our top caps to, to go right over the top of that. So again, filing forward, that's nice. Inside we have a sharp edge as well, so push forward, you can drag back gently and that eliminates the sharp edge on the inside. So go down the outside, go down the inside. A very important aspect of uh, cutting and filing is called fixturing. Uh, fixturing is when we hold the part very, very secure. Uh, let's assume I want to cut uh, a couple of millimeters and file down just a little bit on this uh, seat binder bolt. I can find a uh, axle vise for example, here we'll hold, and if I secure that tight, that bolt is, is secure. The nut is there, uh, so when I file, it leaves a burr. We can bring the nut up and help clean off the, the thread. So let's get a different file here. So in file use again, we're saying cutting forward, and then we're coming back. So this would be. This would be good. It's also important to maintain squareness. We want uh, to not, not do what I'm doing here. We are cutting on an angle. I'm holding the file on an angle. And then the cut is now on an angle. So we want to hold, hold flat. So that's, that would be the procedure. At the end, uh, when we were satisfied with our length, we could come around and bevel Give a little angle to that last thread and then back the nut off to help clean it out. But the fixturing and the holding of the part are very important to a good clean job. File maintenance uh, is important. A, a metal brush, wire brush, is used to uh, file, to clean. You brush along the angle. You can see the slanted angle of the teeth. We brush vigorously along there, like brushing your teeth, brushing your file teeth here, cleaning out pieces of aluminum or metal, uh, whatever we, we have been filing. At the same time we're doing this, we should inspect, and when files are just getting uh, too worn, too used, time for a new one. You will also notice, you will also notice our files have file handles. Uh, it's an important uh, part of the tool, uh, not just uh, for comfort, but very much for safety. Uh, if we take this one out, we can see here the tang of the file. Using this to hold and to, uh, to file, uh, not very comfortable and also dangerous. So uh, that's intended to, to have a file handle. So always get uh, handles for, uh, for your files.
Hello, Calvin Jones here from the Park Tool Company. Uh, I want to discuss briefly a very basic part of our, uh, our workshop, very important part, and that is our, our hands. Uh, some basics on hands, especially for the professional mechanic. Uh, remove, remove jewelry. Remove uh, jewelry not only for the sake of the jewelry getting hacked up and damaged, also getting things caught and damaged to our hands, the different machinery we're working around can definitely cause, uh, cause damage there. So we can find a, a spot on our workbench or in the pocket or, or wherever you'd like safely there. Uh, second thing is watches. Uh, get the watch out of the way, it's gonna get hacked up uh, as, as, as well. Uh, exception, race mechanics live by the watch. So they always want that right in their, uh, right in their face. Uh, so, uh, skin, uh, knuckles can get damaged, take care of your skin, use hand creams, uh, your hands are going to get dirty, that's just the nature of it. Our skin does absorb, absorb, but it's not, we call it waterproof, it's not truly really waterproof at all. Uh, chemicals can be absorbed through it. Um, if you're working with something toxic, if you're doing, uh, for example, DOT, fluid, etc., uh, use of uh, mechanics gloves. Is, uh, is recommended. We can do our work, then we're fine, take them off, we use them later. So uh, take care of your skin, take care of cuts, splinters, um, and uh, hand creams to keep them going as, as, uh, as long as we can.